Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about the new makeup releases and what I think of them. Will I buy it? Will I not? So let's just get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about is the two Colourpop collections that have recently come out. The Spring Collection and the Disney Villains Collection. I bought both, like, everything except in the Spring Collection. It comes with- there are lots of super shock blushes. I didn't pick up any of those, but I picked up all the Jelly Much shadows, the palettes, the everything like i picked up everything i could because i want to do a full in-depth review of their spring collection and plus everything looks so pretty now onto the disney villains collection i love disney i love the villains cruella is my favorite villain because i love 101 dalmatians and of course she had her collection i wasn't sure if i was gonna get everything because i know some of the highlighters will be too dark but in the end i was like you know what i pretty much want everything so let's just get the full collection so i paid the 200 us dollars and got the full collection uh you could have got the pr collection where you're paying an extra 49 bucks for a box good on you if you want to do that i wasn't about to go waste money on a box because I don't have room in my bedroom for that sort of stuff but yes I got it I'm super excited everything looks so good I am honestly just so so hyped for all of Colourpop's collection next I want to talk about the Glamlight taco palette now this is a huge pass for me I don't like the idea of food palettes I don't think that they're cool i just think they're weird and gross looking in my opinion i don't all of these hamburger palettes and all that crap it's just a no for me next i want to talk about the aladdin mac collection now the live action aladdin is coming out in may and mac is doing a collection the only thing i want from the collection is jasmine's lipstick because that lipstick is so up my alley i love those magenta pink shades those are so me so i'm gonna pick that up but everything else is just a big no for me because mac is overly expensive and i personally don't like their stuff that much next i want to talk about the bh cosmetics collections coming out the festival palette recently launched and I got that whole collection. I got the eyeshadow palette and the brush set because honestly the brush set was that like beautiful green shade that I love. It's one of my favorite colors and I recently got the Daisy Marquee palette which I will link my review and tutorial down below but I'm really excited for the festival collection. I haven't used much beach recently so I'm really good to um get back into them. I'm a little bit bummed because I was gonna just get the set because I was getting both anyways but the set made shipping like 40 bucks which was ridiculous. Whatever. Um BH also has an It's My Ray Ray collection coming. It's a 15 shadow palette. We haven't seen what the palette looks like yet but I want it from the looks I've seen her do that there's gonna be some beautiful purples and honestly if there's purples and it's colorful then I will probably get it. It's supposed to be a colorful palette um so hopefully there aren't too many neutral shades. Jeffree Star has his blue blood palette coming out and of course I'm gonna pick it up. I was gonna get the lip set but then I was like do you really need all those blue lips that you're not gonna wear? No I don't and I can't afford to get it anyway so I was like whatever. Lime Crime has new blushes and they're so pretty. I picked up two. I picked up one that could be a contour shade and one that's purple because you guys know I love purple. Pretty Weird Cosmetics is coming out with a beautiful eyeshadow palette. It has so many bright shades. It retails for $35.99 US dollars. I recently found their brand on Instagram and I'm honestly super excited to pick up this palette. MAC is having an artist collection and the only thing I care about is probably a couple of lipsticks because the lipstick shades look pretty but besides that again I don't really care much for MAC. Dose of Colors has a Minnie Mouse collection coming out to Companion with their Mickey Mouse collection. I didn't care about the Mickey Mouse collection because it was far too neutral and boring for me but the Minnie Mouse collection as soon as I saw that eyeshadow palette I was like Oh my god, that's beautiful. Now, did I need it? No, but did I pick it up? Yes. I also picked up one of their glitter liners and I picked up one of- I picked up the red liquid lipstick from that collection because, I mean, it's red and it looks like a very pretty, pretty red. Lastly, Benefit has a large size of their Hula Bronzer. It's limited edition, but it's like a gigantic size. Uh, I'm personally not going to get it because I'm too fair for normal Hula. I know people go through their Hula Bronzers like crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.